everyone. We managed to um, get Zoom to join the room. Um, a little technical difficulty there. So what is it? it's about 6.15, 6.17 on August 12th, 2024, Rochester Select Board meeting, which has been um, posted in three public places and on the website and emailed to interested parties. So we're going to move forward. And um, <clears throat> first off, we have the um, minutes from the prior meeting of July 22nd. And they all look good to me. I just had one question. In the minutes, we appointed Kristen LaPelle to the Valley Rescue Rep. And then, um, then you had second thoughts about doing that, but then you had third thoughts of doing it. So this is correct now? Yes. Yep, it is. OK, good. Just check. Yep. Yes, Thank thanks. you for right. checking. Yeah, yeah. So I'd move to approve those minutes. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. OK. And then we also have the minutes um, for the emergency select board meeting. And it was an emergency because we finally got the information from the state to set the tax rate so we could get the tax bills out. And um, that looks all right to me. I'd move to approve that. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. OK. Great. Great. And um, new business, we've got um, <clears throat> you had to, um, Mason, you want to continue discussing the um, 2025 town report? Uh, yeah. Yes. Or report? Yes. Yeah. What, Great. what do you think? Uh, yeah, I thought it was just good to keep it on the agenda to move forward. And, and one, at one of the select board meetings, uh, the discussion was about a, uh, a Rochester citizen voter guide and how it could be incorporated into the annual uh, town report and some of the discussions were around that it was difficult because of uh, space available in the printing and back then I was saying well we do have the this particular piece which is the cover and um, uh, and how that could be utilized for that purpose uh, here you have you know we have the town at the top and the town report and in the middle you know, we have space along with how it is laid out. Mm -hmm. So in the past, we've had wonderful presentations of uh, photography of farm animals and wildlife. But I would like to suggest that this particular one coming forth could be a citizen's voter um, a manual guide mm -hmm. uh, as such. So the, so the deal is, is, you know, when are the deadlines? for printing and you know so that if it's something that this select board would like to pursue then by you know wishing such they would give the time frame to be able to pursue it so that's one of the reasons I so when is tonight the... just to present that with what is our time frame because as everybody knows everything's happening so quickly all the time so um, we we have to have it to the printer by early January, <clears throat> like by the second week of January at the mm -hmm. latest. Mm -hmm. So that's their so deadline. We need the cover done. But we need the cover done yeah. by like November, right? Or at least, yeah. 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 yeah, it takes time to develop it. Mm -hmm. yeah. so and we actually, do have, um, like in the years past, Norm Christensen has always done the cover, so he's a big part of that. He may want to or may not. I don't know what his desire would be for something like this. It could yeah, be. Yeah, I haven't talked to him yet about it. That. Well, he um, he basically does what we ask him to do to a large extent, and then he has some um, mm -hmm. input into what it fills in the rest of the cover. So this would fall into the category of input of suggestions of what to put in in the cover, Nancy. There's also the number of pages has to be taken into consideration right. for, from the printer. Right. And so we've actually put a request out to the printer to see what the cost would be to add pages. And I think that if we go much bigger than what it is now, it requires a different binding, which would ramp up the expense of the unit. And I know your point is that there's, in your mind, um, 
not wasted space, but you think you're saying it could be applied to a different purpose they, um, mm -hmm. than for this because, particular issue, yes, because each well, one has its own but state. if it's if for this particular issue, what you're suggesting is I would assume something going forward. If you think that it's important to have this information in the town report, why would we only do it in this issue and not onward into the future? It, it could be something where the voters give feedback. To, to one time type yeah. situation and give the feedback yeah. and how they want to see it go forth. Um, how do you, you know, define a citizen's voter guide? Yeah. You know? A guide? I'm sorry? How, how are you defining what a citizen's voter guide would entail? Very good. You know, I, I, I think that, you know, we have the uh, state uh, town clerk association that's done some interesting work already in trying to define some of this. Uh, and it's been helpful that way. I think uh, it could be an interesting situation where some of our high school students might like to take this on between now and the time, and maybe our Justice of the Peace would like to interact with that. I think it's gonna take a, a, a group of different pe folks to actually think about it and put it together as such. So that seems like you're diverging from the initial idea of presenting um, like a, a guide. I mean, if it's in turning into a high school project for what it's just like. Well, I, I think mean, uh, it's, students it's, are some of the best people in our community to get involved in local government. And this is a, a great way to en encourage them to take a look at it, too, is, you know, be involved with, uh, you know, what is it? What does it take to be a good local citizen voter. So it's it's something that they might want to participate in with the guidance of the take me. You you yeah. could you could lead them do it. Well, I, I've I, asked, I, I asked you before in, if in, you would come up with a draft of what you were proposing to do. You know what to what you're proposing to present, but yeah, now but you're the asking us. Information that you yeah. envision going on to the space on the cover. Well, now you're asking like for how to run for office is a good one. You know how how to get involved in local government. I think it's been a, a, a potential issue for a lot of folks. How how do they find the time to put it into their lives? You know these type of you know uh, being able to to have the awareness that they should be paying attention maybe two months before it's a situation where they might want to be involved as a candidate for local positions. You know, that's that's one area. I think How that the to volunteer I think that the town report is strictly to do the town's financial status and what the people that are involved with the financial status and all the people that are appropriations and all that, that's what the town report is for.